the first thing that I recommend is getting a boppy. So what you do with this is you kind of just put it around your waist and this allows you to hold your baby up while you're breastfeeding. The second thing I recommend is nipple butter. I used Earth Mama, but I highly, highly, highly recommend getting some type of nipple butter and I like Earth Mama because it is a pretty natural option and you don't have to clean it off before breastfeeding your baby. You can just leave it on and put the baby right on. If you use something like lanolin, which is what the hospital gives you, you do have to wipe that off before breastfeeding, which is kind of a pain and just one more step between you feeding your baby. And when your baby's crying, that's the last thing that you want. So I will link that in the description below as well as all the other products I talk about in today's video. So the third item that I recommend for putting baby to breast is some kind of nursing cover, but I don't necessarily recommend buying a special one. I just kind of ended up using a blanket or a burp rag or something that I could just kind of put over my shoulder because the actual nursing cover that I got for my baby shower um, it's kind of like a weird polyester material and it wasn't very breathable. I felt like my baby kind of got hot under underneath it. And it also was kind of hard to see what I was doing when I put this thing over my head. Um, and now I have to like lift this thing out to see what I'm doing under here. And I didn't love this option. And then something else, if you like an occasional, you know, adult beverage like me, um, and you missed it after nine months um, or more, 10 months if you're like me, <laughs> of being pregnant and you know, you want a little break and have a glass of wine. The Frida line does carry these breast milk alcohol test strips that you can use. So basically you just pump and then you can dip this into it to see if there's still alcohol in it. If so, you can just wait a little bit longer. They don't use them super often, but on occasion I have had a need for these and I think they're great. And then something else to consider, I ended up getting nursing pads. Now, a lot of women wear nursing pads anyway just because they leak, but I actually do not. I feel very fortunate. Um, I don't have to wear nursing pads, but I ended up wearing these for a couple reasons for a little while. One, because I was using the nipple butter and it's very greasy and I didn't want to stain up all my bras. And two, because I could easily change these out um, without having to change my entire bra if I wanted to just you know wear the same bra because I didn't have a lot of nursing bras in the beginning so I was kind of limited to you know how often I wanted to do laundry so I got these reusable cotton ones I will link these below um, these are really nice they wash up well and it came with quite a few in the pack so you didn't have to you know wash them all the time something else when it comes to hygiene is when I thought I had that yeast infection my OBGYN was kind enough to prescribe me this all-purpose nipple cream and it basically has an antibiotic and an antifungal in it. So this is something that you can use if you're having issues with either of those, but you have to wipe this off before you feed your baby. So just something to remember if you end up getting this from your OBGYN, but you have to have a prescription for this. So if you're having issues, definitely ask your OBGYN and they should be able to help you out. Next, I want to talk about pain with breastfeeding. So I was trying a bunch of things to try and help the pain and I'm going to tell you the things that um, helped and didn't help. So other than the nipple butter, the nipple butter helped a lot. I, as I said, I highly recommend that. I also tried these little silverettes. They're little silver thingies that cover your nipples. They do make it look like you have very large nipples when you are wearing your shirt, just a FYI. And I feel like they helped a little bit, but they also kind of like between my bra and this thing kind of like pinched me sometimes and that was kind of annoying. This was not the end all be all when it came to like helping the pain, but it did help a little bit and just gave my, you know, poor boobies a little bit of reprieve. Um, something else I think that was better are milk savers and that kind of allowed air around the nipple. And then if you, you can use these if if you do leak when you're breastfeeding to catch milk on one side and I'm gonna have to come back to this because my baby just woke up from his nap and is crying so I will be back and we will talk about all this in just a little bit okay I am back so we were talking about milk savers this is the milk saver I have I actually have other ones that are larger than this and hold more milk I pretty much just use this to keep like air around the nipple in the beginning um, when they were really sore and that way they weren't like rubbing in my bra or my shirt these are really low profile so you could definitely wear this in your bra no one would even know and then to open them to either get the milk out or clean them they just come apart like that and they just snap back together the next thing I want to show you for pain relief are these lanolish hot cold cold pads. So you can either put these in the freezer or you can put them in the microwave um, to either have them warm or cold and then you just put them into the little sleeve that they come with and I'll show you what that looks like when they're in the sleeve. And then you can just put this in your bra to help either have warmth and um, warmth is great for like clogged ducts or just comfort and milk let down. The cold was good for if you're trying to decrease your milk supply if you're done breastfeeding or just for comfort as well. I used mine cold a lot in the beginning. I actually have two sets of these and I think this was one of the best gifts I got from one of my friends uh, when I first had my baby. I want to talk about pumping because I would say the majority of moms who breastfeed um, end up having a job and, or at some point just needing to pump in general. The first pump I got was the Spectra S2 and I really like my Spectra. I can go into detail about this in a different video if you like but in general I'm just going to talk about this as a general and not exactly how it works. Anyway I really like this because I felt like it was very effective. It's such a cute shape. It has a place to hold your bottle. 
Um, it's very specific in being able to turn up the vacuum and things like that. Um, it only came with one set of parts. I ended up purchasing a second set of pump parts like the actual, what's that called, flange. I bought a second flange and bottle set so that if I was washing one, I had another set to use. Something else you're going to need is a pumping bra. I have, this is the first one I bought. I only use these for pumping. This is also a nursing bra, but I'm not sure that I want to use a bra all the time that's got these holes in the front. <laughs> uh, anyway, I really like this one. It fits very snugly, snugly, and it's very comfortable and works pretty well and then goes on from the front. I ended up buying a second one. I just wanted to try out a different option. Um, I got this one from Mama Cozy and it goes on from the back. So what you do is you put it on first and then you have to fit the flanges in and then zip it up the front. I don't really love this one as much. It's not as tight fitting, uh, but it works fine and I actually use this one for work and then the other one for home. Something else you're probably going to need if you are pumping is freezer bags. So these are also from, I don't know how to say this, Lanzanoa? Lanzano? This is the same brand as the, the hot and cold pad. I always say Lanalish, but I don't actually think that's the name of the brand. Anyway, that's the brand. Let me put it up close for you. That brand. I got these bags from my sister-in-law and my friend who had extras after they were done pumping. So thankfully I've never had to buy any, but these work really well. You just tear this off, write the time and date and amount on here, fill it up. Ideally no more than six ounces is what they prefer, although I have filled them up with more than that and it's been fine. And then you lay them flat to freeze and you can kind of stack them to keep them well organized. Yeah, I think you need these if you're gonna freeze breast milk because it's the most convenient and it's the easiest way to heat them back up and keep them stored and whatnot. Also, probably the cheapest because otherwise you have to get bottles and stuff which is gonna be a pain. I ended up getting a second, well I have a lot of pumps actually. I have a Medela, my Spectra, I have LV Stride and I've tried Free Me Cups and I have also tried the Bella Baby hands-free pumps from Amazon. I have made a whole video about those that I will link above that you can check out if you wanna check out like how I feel about all of those. But besides my Spectra, my absolute favorite pump is my LV Stride even more than the Spectra. I think it works just as well. Something else I think you need is a handheld breast pump. I don't use this to like get milk for my son because it takes a long time as opposed to my electric one. But when you get a clogged duct or um, mastitis, this is nice to help you in the shower because you can put it on there and like hold pressure while you have hot water on it. Also, if for some reason you were to not have electricity and you weren't around your baby, this is gonna be one of your only options. So this is also nice to have in case of anomalous emergency situations. I wanna talk about a tire or your wardrobe when you're nursing because that definitely has to change a little bit because you have to pretty much always be able to access your boobs if you're going to have your baby with you. So the first thing is the nursing bra. I bought a few nursing bras while I was pregnant and they were very comfortable while I was pregnant and I still wear a couple of them but the boobs change a lot when your milk comes in and so those ones I don't love but I found this one. It's called Kindred Bravely. That's the brand. I got it from Amazon. I will link it in the description. This is the only one I really love. I actually have four of this same exact bra now. And this is pretty much what I always wear. And the nice thing is when you wash it, the pads in the front don't like fall out or end up all wonky and you don't have to adjust them every time. I've washed them a number of times and the pad is always in the same place, um, but it's still remo removable if you need to take it out. I absolutely love this bra. Like I said, link in the description if you want to check it out to use this one for yourself. Something else a friend told me about are these little tube tops. Uh, these are the coolest things. So they're from Under Undercover Mama. So let me kind of give you a demonstration here. You put this on underneath your clothes and then there's little loops here. or hooks and you actually attach that to your nursing bra so then when you need to lift up your shirt to get to your bra um, it's attached to your bra and you can like left that down so then your belly's not showing if you need to nurse your baby in public. I also got a nursing dress because I had my baby in April and so it was going into summertime and it was nice to just have something that was loose and flowy but also able to access the breast to feed my baby. And then other than that, I don't really wear any other special outfits to nurse him in. Um, I do have a couple nursing like pajamas and I wore those in the beginning when my belly was still really big but now that I'm you know mostly down to my normal size, pretty much just wear my nursing tanks um, and that's it. Another thing that you worry about when you're breastfeeding is your supply. So I want to talk about a few things that I ate and drank to increase my milk supply. The first being this mother's milk tea that I got from Amazon. I think you can get it at the store too. There we go. This doesn't taste that great. It tastes like, I think it's called anise. 
It's like that black licorice flavor. It's not super strong, but I just don't really personally like that flavor very much. So I just add cinnamon and like milk to this uh, to make it taste a little bit better. But it's not intolerable if you were to drink it straight. Um, I also suggest doing spinach. I felt like spinach was the milk, magical milk growing food. I have spinach and I felt like my milk supply was just great. I also tried to eat a lot of oats. Um, I like reds, organic oats and plenty of water, and then also power pumping. I made a second video about breastfeeding, including information about latch, pain, treating pain, reasons why you might have pain, clogged ducts, mastitis, and a lot of other good information, and I will link that right here so you can go and watch that video too. Thank you for watching. I just want to remind you to just do good, and good things will come back to you, and I will see you in my next video.